Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best YouTuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Apologies if there is any background noise, we are our locals. Uh, recording this as usual so of course lots of people still playing and people seem to get louder as soon as I start recording videos because fuck knows why it's just what happened so we've got the usual channel regular Rob yep. here to show us mostly because he just wants to flex his rarities yeah pretty much but he's uh, he's got his evil eye deck profile that he wants to share with us so uh should we get stuck in shall we yeah um yeah evil eye the deck's okay like in a vacuum you look at the cards you're like wow this deck's amazing then you realize that removal and hand traps exist yeah but anyway um so yeah the first first thing is free surgical this is like a good card in the deck yeah so it searches for any evil eye card when you normal summon it mm -hmm. um, and when it's equipped with the equipped spell it's a target of a special summon monster so that's, that's the best card, the good, the good monster. Mm -hmm. You play one of the other one that's good at normal summon, Medusa. Yep. Um, then when this is normal summon, it adds an evil eye spell from your grave back to your hand. Yep. So it's just good for recursion. So you only play one, you can just search it. Um, and then when that's equipped with um, the evil eye equipped spell, it's a DD Crow. So you can banish a card in your opponent's grave. <laughs> um, and they both have effects where the standby phase after you've used the effect, you have to, this one has to destroy a card you control, and this has to banish a card in your own graveyard. Yep. So, which is a bit weird, and you often forget it, which is local thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, then we play three of this, Brazilius, or however you pronounce his name. Basically, if you control an evil eye monster, you can summon this from your hand for free. Um, so this is the way of getting to Gorgon. Yep. And when this is summoned, it sends an evil eye spell or trap to the graveyard. Yep. Which works really well with the new equip spell that we got, uh, which I'll get into when we get to it. And then the last evil eye monster is two of this guy. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to try. Um, basically, if he's in the graveyard, you can special summon him, and then you can target a evil eye spell or trap you control. Mm -hmm. And the first time it would be destroyed until your opponent's next end phase it's not okay so it protects your opponent from destroying the equipped spell and just auto winning yeah um and play two of it because once it summoned itself back by its own effect when it leaves the field it's banished so, okay yeah um, and also it's just a name like you don't play many evil eyes because they're not very good so you just need names yeah just play the main ones yeah um you play a tour guide because level three dark fiends Easy enough. Um, yeah, so you, you toot around this thing and then you can bring it back. Um, yeah, not really much to say. It's a one card Gorgon, so it's always good. Yep. Um, then, two Dark Armed. Oh, like, nice. You really shouldn't play this card in the deck, but it's my favourite card and it's Max Rarity, so I'm playing it <laughs> because they're all Dark. How, so. how, how easy is it to summon in the deck? It's actually really easy because if you open Tour Guide, and any other like way to search an evil eye monster, yeah. you're gonna end the turn with three evil eyes in grave. Okay. So, or sorry, no, you're gonna end the turn with two evil eyes in grave and two on board. So the odds are next turn, it's you're most likely gonna be live. Okay. So it is actually quite easy to summon, but it's it's an unsearchable brick, I think. <laughs> but it's fun, and that's what Yu-Gi-Oh is meant to be. It's meant to be fun. Sure. That's what we're here for, right? That's what we're here for, yeah. Um, kind of in contrast to that last point, now I play hand traps. Okay. Uh, so we've got three Phantasmae, three Ash. The um, main ones. Yeah, and three Insermans. Yep, yeah, there you go. Um, That's what you're waiting for. Yeah, so this is just so I don't lose the game because you have to play some good cards sometimes. Yep. Um, the, equip, the good equip spell does make your monsters immune to targeting. Yeah. But the other equip spell, which you sometimes have to use, doesn't. So not only will this draw you into your other hand traps, it's also up. I don't want to lose if I open badly. Yeah. Um, so it's good. You can replace it with like Call by the Grave if you want, but I'd rather play. Yeah. It there's there's no like for like uh, replacing with cards on that though, no, which is why it's exactly. so expensive. That is. Yeah. And then the last monster yeah. is one side. Yep. Artifacts. 
Uh, then spells, we've got three of the field spell. Yep. Terraforming. Search is for an evil eye monster on, on activation. Yep. And um, then when your opponent battles with an evil eye, you can make them take the damage as well if they're crashing over you. Yep. And then when your opponent destroys it, you get to add an evil eye monster from grave to hand. Mm -hmm. So it's really good. It's once per turn, so you can't just keep overlaying the in searches. But it's a good card. Um, then we play two of Celine and we play two of Gorgonio. Mm -hmm. This is the one that makes the monster immune. So this is a good one. Can't be targeted or destroyed by card effect, can't destroy by battle. And whenever it activates its effect, it gains 500 attack and you lose 500 life. So in other words, you just end up with a Gorgon on like 5k attack and you can't be targeted. You just stick things. Yep. This one, you it gains, the only thing it does while equipped is it, your monster gains lot, uh, attack equal to the difference in life points if your life points are lower. Yeah. So it sort of works in tandem with this. But it's not as good because obviously it doesn't protect it in any way. Yeah. The good thing about this though is you can send it to the grave with um, Basilius, and when this is in the grave, you can discard an evil eye card, <laughs> i.e. this guy, and then banish that from the grave. You get to search for any other evil eye spell or trap. Okay. So it's just good to have a generic rotor. So you can, if you open both of these, you can go, cool, I'm gonna randomly equip this to one that I control, link it off for the Gorgon, and then banish it for search. Yeah. Um, so it, it, it's a really good card. I thought it was bad when I first read it, when it came out, but then it's one of the things where in testing, you actually realize how good it can be. Yeah. Um, then I play two of Awakening. This yep. is either a summon from hand or grave, or if you control one of the equipped spells, it is a E-Tally. Once per turn, so it's good. It's searchable, so you don't need to play three. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a good card. Then three extravagance because you literally do not care about any of your extra deck beyond the ones that have evil eye in their name. Yeah. So, like you'll see in my extra deck, it's just random rubbish and evil eye cards. Um, then traps, we have. If I can find them. We have three Evil Eye Mesmerism. Yep. This is basically an in archetype crackdown. If your opponent's best summons a monster in attack with less attack than an Evil Eye monster you control, remembering that you're always going to be boosted with your equips, then you take control of that monster. And if you control the equipped spell, then that monster becomes an Evil Eye monster. Yeah. So you can then link it off to make the Evil Eye links. Um, it doesn't negate the effect like crackdown, but it's just really good to like steal normal summons and things like that. Yeah. Um, and then we play one of the counter trap, which negates spell and trap cards, Retribution. Mm -hmm. If you control the equipped spell, this cannot be responded to, so it can't be rebooted or judgmented, which is quite funny. Um, it would be nice if it negated monster effects, but it doesn't, so it's not the best card in the world. Um, and then the final cards are just two Sanctum and, and Trap Trick. Okay, sure. Uh, partly because Trap Trick can search in, per uh, search in permanence, and partly because I don't have a third Sanctum. Okay. So uh, that's the main deck, 42 cards. Uh, there's no side, is there? No, just, side, the extra just the extra. Uh, extra deck, we have three Gorgon, which are beautiful. Shout out to Aaron Henman for sorting me out two of these. Is that, is that Prism, is it? That is three Prismatics. Let's have a quick look on the camera there, so they can see this guy flex. Looks nice, man. Yeah, it's nice. Fair. Uh, three of them. It's if it has the equip spell on it, it's basically a um, effect veiler. So um, quick effect negate the effect monster your opponent controls. Mm -hmm. Then in the next standby phase, it destroys the monster that it points to. So if your opponent's an idiot and doesn't read the card properly and they summon something under it, you can go, well, I negated your effect last turn, so now I'm going to destroy your card. Mm -hmm. So that's always quite funny. Um, and then the only other card that matters in the extra deck is the Link 3, Zerzu. This guy, if he's summoned with a monster with 2600 or more attack, in other words, this has resolved its effect once, because then next standby it's going to gain another 500. Mm -hmm. Then it can attack twice, so it becomes a 2600 body that can attack twice. And it becomes a quick pop for any card on the field if it's equipped with the equipped spell. Yep. So then you'll pop something, it becomes 31, it attacks twice, it's an in archetype ball as well. Okay, fair. Card is ridiculous. Um, as I say, that's literally the only cards that matter in the entire extra deck. The rest of it is just garbage. So a unicorn, two phoenix. I'm going to say garbage. Two Cyberus. Like, you might not use them, they're definitely not garbage. An Come IP. On. A Boralode, an Avramax, and an Abyss Dweller because I do run more than two level fours. So you can somehow get into it. So I can somehow get into it. Okay. None of that matters. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah.
And that's it. Cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to show us the deck. Uh, personally, just want to put a big shout out to Manuscrew, who you'll have seen his, his uh, bit at the bottom of the map there. If you want to go check him out, there'll be links in the description as well. Uh, any shout outs before we go? Um, yeah, shout outs to um, Jam Jam Cards UK for sorting me out mm -hmm. a bunch of cards in the deck. Links shout in the description to, for that one as well. Yeah, shout out to Aaron Henman again for just sorting out the Gorgons. Yep. Um, shout out to all the Northampton and Bedford lot. Yep. Um, for putting up with me on a weekly basis. Mm hmm. Um, that's about it, really. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Once again, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.